Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Air Kevin's card collecting and more. First in the chat. Thanks for being with me this morning, Kevin. I just made it under the gun. Right about, I was trying to push the buttons at 11:15. Just got home from my morning errands. Uh, found all but two items that my wife tasked me to try and locate today. Uh, went to one, two, three different stores. <laughs> But it was a challenge, but I am here. And whether it's me and Kevin or anybody else that decides to show up, we will be going forward with the stream for today. And in honor, even though it is uh, right on time, there we go. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Um, it is St. Patrick's Day, so the only green in a baseball cap that I could figure out that I had... Uh, yeah, was my uh, Seattle Seahawk hat. And I do have my Rated Rookie uh, t-shirt on. So that qualifies as me wearing, whoops, my green. And I just disembarked my uh, my camera, <laughs> my, my cell phone. <laughs> That's my camera. Sally Lloyd is in the house. How are you doing, Sally? Long time no see. How are things in the United Kingdom there for you? It's nice to see you there, Sally. Um, sorry, I'm still kind of flustered trying to catch my breath from running around this morning. As soon as my wife left, I went in, went around and did my chores. Actually, no, I went to four different stores, didn't I? I went to the Navy Commissary. I went to the Navy Exchange. I went to uh, Costco. That was an interesting adventure. I'll tell you about it a little bit in the stream. And then uh, along with that, I'm in isolation just now, just as well. I love being alone. I love alone. I, I kind of know what you mean there. Um, as far as social distancing, it would not bother me to just stick out around my house. Be in my house. Glad you're wearing green. I didn't want to have to drive up there to pinch your arm. Oh, yeah, that's what I told my wife. It's funny. Um, my wife's... Um, her uniform shirt is green so um for the navy lodge where she works so she she wears green every day <laughs> but she said yeah i don't have to worry about that today i said good because i don't want you i don't want some stranger to come up to you and pinch you because you weren't wearing green and here they we're going to be careful not to say certain words in the stream here but um uh yeah as far as uh, i'm in isolation that's fine there, Sally. But yeah, um, YouTube did send me an alert and a notification that they have the computers doing um, the verifications on whether you meet community guidelines. And I know for sure they did put out word that um, they do not want people to talk about what's going on in their streams to leave that to the, uh, the, the government and the medical officials to do what they need to do in that aspect. So... Um, but yeah, so at least we do got two people here. I know I probably threw everybody off. I did see uh, a bunch of thumbs up before I even came on the stream. I think I had five or six, but that's fine. It says five watching now. That's good. Um, but yeah, so other than that, um, everything is going well. Uh, before we do get into our, our regular content at hand, I had a task to uh, get a few things. Oh, I got to check this item off. I got that at Lowe's when I finished my last shop before I came home. So uh, let's see, I had on my list one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. And I got six out of the eight. Six out of the eight. The only things I couldn't find was any Clorox wipes. Where's Jonathan C, super short print car brakes? I know he works for Clorox. Maybe he can have some sent to me. <laughs> Just kidding, that would be. That would be interesting. Um, okay, I'm still happy. Laugh out loud. Thanks there, Sally. Um, and then, uh, I don't know why the, the ladies wanted this, but they wanted me to try and find some rubbing alcohol, but I could not find any anywhere at cosmetic departments. Of course, if probably if I went to more stores, I might have found some somewhere like Rite Aid or, or a drugstore or something. I probably could have found some rubbing alcohol. But other than that, I... Feel I did pre pretty well on my uh, on my list of things to do, so I can now crumble that shopping list up and throw that in my recycle bin next to me here. 
All right. And so other than that, yeah, I did get three packages in the mail today instead of waiting since uh, I'm, I'm probably going to just, and I, if you look at my About Me tab, I did update and change things uh, a little bit on how I'll do my family mail call. Of course, on Saturdays, we'll see if anything does come in Friday and or Saturday, maybe before the stream ends, if things come in there. Um, but I wanted to open up one, uh, at least the one I'm going to open up today is one from Kevin. Uh, Kevin's Car Collecting. I did get one from Ethan Lamb. Um, these two different orders here are things for my PC, but I wanted to share them with you. And I do have one from Jonathan C. Jonathan C. He's uh, super short print car brakes. Hopefully, I don't know if anyone's heard from him to see how, how his young one is doing. That was in Children's Hospital. Hopefully everything is fine with that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think we'll be uh, going on with our task at hand here. And I'll probably start in about three minutes to get ready to do things. So we are going to do um, uh, Mike Trout is going to be our player biography today. And then we are going to have a uh, Mike Trout, Cody Bellinger uh, 2020 baseball. Ball Series 110 that will be uh, opening live. We'll be doing a break on those two products to see if we can pull in, of course, the Mike Trout 10, if we can pull a Mike Trout out, and the Cody Bellinger to see if we can get a Cody Bellinger. And then if we pull one out from each of their boxes, then we'll see what which box ends up getting the best pulls. Uh, but we will get into that. I talked with him yesterday. Prayers have been answered, and he's doing well. Thanks for the update there, Ken, uh, uh, Kevin. I do appreciate that. Yeah, I, I uh, did send Jonathan my uh, phone number and an email to him, and so we have been texting a little bit. Um, but um, that was earlier yesterday, so um, he didn't mention. I just mentioned that we we would be praying for him and the situation there but it's nice to know that prayers have been answered and his child is doing well that is good so yeah so that's what we're going to do um, after we do uh, the Mike Trout player biography so I'm gonna get ready to turn my camera around so you can see the break table there and the product that will be opening you can see that right there and then Kevin's card collectings uh, channel or not channel, but his package right there in the background. Get the very tops of the box there. I'll leave Donald Blomdahl there for part of my channel name in the in the preview screen there as I go through the player biography in less than a minute here for Mike Trout. I know I've chose to do some newer ones kind of coinciding too. Um, yes, YouTube won't let us talk about it. Wow. As far as mentioning the different names, it looks for that in, in not only the voice commentator, uh, but also if you put anything like that in your titles, um, they are using their automation system to preview videos. So if you do type anything like that in your descriptions or your title of your video, they'll probably block that temporarily until they have a chance to uh, review that. Um, with their limited staffing they have at YouTube. So just so you are aware of that. So it is 1125. Three card collectors is in the house. So Kevin, if you if you can, if you can't, or Sally, if you happen to see somebody that types or puts something in the chat in that regards, if you would just do me a favor and just block that uh, chat, if anybody chats anything like that, okay? Astros McGee is in the house, so we're getting up to eight people here. Might get a little bit, a few more than normal with um, me starting a little bit later. Um, tomorrow I should be on regular time at 10.30, but for now this is what we're doing. Um, yes, yes, exactly. They don't want to do a lot of that, Sally. So I'm going to get into our content at hand, and then we will get into... Um, Probably uh, breaking up the family mail call, call blah, 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 family mail call package, and then we will do the 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 tops 2020 baseball series one. I, I didn't call it um, the other thing. I changed it to a challenge. We'll see which 
10 we pull the best cards out of. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into Mike Trout's biography. It's not super long, but he has been playing ball for a little while now. And as we get into some of this history, I'll share some real neat things about Mike Trout that I'm slightly familiar with. And that's why I was kind of wanting to do his biography here. So Mike Trout, Michael Nelson Trout, was born in, on August 7th, 1991, is an American professional baseball center fielder for the Los Angeles Angels of Major League Baseball. Trout is an eight-time MLB star, three-time American League Most Valuable Player, winning the award in 2014, 16, and 19, while finishing second in 2012, 13, 15, and 18 in votes, and is a seven-time winner of the Silver Slugger Award. He is nicknamed the Millville Meteor. The Angels selected Trout in the first round of the 2009 MLB Draft. He made a brief major league appearance in 2011 before becoming a regular player for the Angels in subsequent seasons and won the 2012 American League Rookie of the Year Award unanimously. Trout's athleticism on the field has received praise from both the mainstream media and sabermetrics. Metrici metricians. <laughs> he is regarded as one of the most outstanding young players in the history of baseball, as well as one of the best current players in all of Major League Baseball. Trout led the American League in wins above replacement war in each of his first five full seasons, according to Fangraphs and BaseballReference.com. Trout has led the American League in runs from 2012 through 14 and 2016, and times on base in 2013, 15, 16, and 18, four times. As of 2019, he led all active Major League ball players in career slugging percentage with 581 and on base uh, plus slugging of 1.000 and was second in career on on base percentage of 419 and stolen base percentage at 84.75%. In 2019, he signed a 12 year, $426 million contract with the Angels, the richest contract in the history of North American sports. Right, let me pop in the chat here real quick. Sports lines in the house. Uh, Astro says, I'm alive, Sally. Can't complain. Me too, Ats. Um, he should only have two MVPs. He totally robbed Bregman last year. Uh, Johnny Waldeck is in the house. How you doing there, Johnny? Uh, da, 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 sports line. Uh, Sally, I never said hello to you. So sorry. So here I go. Ready for it? Good morning, Sally. <laughs> All right, so as far as Trout's early life, born to Jeff and Debbie Busonic Trout in Vineland, New Jersey. And you think, oh, New Jersey, New Jersey. Oh, I'm from New Jersey. How long was, how far was Vineland and uh, Millville? And he grew up near, in nearby Millville, New Jersey. Um, so that pretty much is um, next Next door to Atlantic County is the county where he lived in, and the city of Millville and Vineland were really close to where I grew up as a kid, too. So he has two older siblings, Sister Teal and Brother Tyler. His father, Jeff, born January 7, 1961. So I'm old enough to be his dad. <laughs> Played baseball at the University of Delaware and was fifth a fifth-round draft pick as a second baseman by the Minnesota Twins in 1983. So if you do see any uh, uh, other players from the Junk Wax era with the name Trout, that was his dad. All right, Jeff played four years in minor league baseball before a torn plant, plantar fascia and knee injury ended his career. Okay, so he might have been in some professional ball, uh, ball club 
uh, cards for his dad because I guess he was injured and ended his career in the minor leagues. Trout grew up a diehard Philadelphia Phillies fan and attended the World Series Parade in 2008. Trout began playing baseball in Cal Ripken Baseball, a division of the Babe Ruth League. His main position as a youth baseball player was the shortstop position. He wore number two in honor of his childhood hero, New York Yankees shortstop Derek Jeter. He would switch to number one in high school. Mike attended Lakeside Middle School and as a 2009 graduate of Millville Senior High School. So his amateur career Trout attended Millville Senior High School in Millville, New Jersey, where he played both baseball and basketball, earning five letters, three in baseball and two in basketball. In his junior year, he threw a no-hitter against Egg Harbor Township High School. That's where my sister lives. <clears throat> the Thunderbolts made it to the state playoffs were, and were defeated by Cherry Hill, uh, high School East. He started as a pitcher and shortstop and was shifted to the outfield during his senior year. That year he hit 18 home runs, a New Jersey school high school record, and Trout committed to play baseball at East Carolina University prior to the 2009 MLB draft. Millville initially planned to retire Trout's jersey number, but instead began awarding it to the team captain started in 2012. Trout played travel ball with the Tri-State Arsenal, one of the premier travel programs in the Northeast. He began working with the coaches at Arsenal at age 14. Uh, Trout played in various tournaments with Tri-State Arsenal, including the Perfect Game WWBA Championships in Jupiter, Florida in 2007 and 2008. In the summer before his senior year, Trout attended the Area Code Games in Southern California, where he went 6 for 11 against some of the best players in the country. Angel Scout Greg Moorhart, who played in the minor leagues with Trout's father, claimed Mike was the fastest and strongest 17-year-old he had ever seen. So as far as his professional career, draft and minors, the Angels selected Trout using their compensation pick from the New York Yankees for their signing of Mark Texeria. 25th overall in the 2009 MLB draft. He started his professional career in 2009 playing for the Arizona Angels of the rookie level Arizona League, hitting 360 with a 418 OBP and a 506 slugging percentage, with one home run, 25 runs batted in, and 13 stolen bases, in 187 plate appearances over 39 games. He was beaten out in being named the AZL Most Valuable Player by Cody Decker. He finished the season playing for the Cedar Rapids Colonels of the Class A Midwest League, hitting 267 over 20 plate appearances in five games. Before the 2010 series season, Trout was considered the Angels' best third best prospect in and the 85th best in all baseball by Baseball America. He started the season playing for Cedar Rapids where he hit 362 with a 454 on base percentage and a 526 slugging percentage with six home runs, 39 RBIs and 45 stolen bases in 82 games. He was selected to play in the All-Star Futures game. In July, Baseball America named Trout the second best overall baseball prospect after the Futures game. He was promoted to the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes of the Class A Advanced California League. After the 2010 season, Trout was named 2010 J.G. Taylor Spink Award as the top's minor league player of the year. At just 19 years and two months, he was the youngest player to win this award. He also named a Baseball America 
All-Star as well as the Topps Class A All-Star. Prior to the 2011 season, Trout was ranked number one by ESPN's Keith Law in his 2011 Top 100 Prospects and by MLB's Jonathan Mayo. Trout started the 2011 season with the Arkansas Travelers of the Class A Texas League. He hit 324 with nine home runs, 27 RBIs, and 28 stolen bases in his first 75 games. All right, let me peek in the chat here real quick. Seen it scrolling up. Patriot cards. I apologize for the misinformation. I feel terrible. I won't be opening any more opening day. Kevin is. It's beginner level and very difficult to pull anything good. Yeah, there's not much in opening day, but it still is fun to, to pull some of those subset cards that they do have. That's what I like collecting. Um, i never been so depressed ripping a product. I'll just wait for Series 2. Oh yeah, I'm looking for Series 2 also myself. When does Series 2 come out? Um... I could look at my uh, Beckett. It lists all the releases, but I believe it is in June sometime. But we'll have to see because I don't think they're going to be getting too many new pictures of players in the two, 2020 season. So we don't know for sure what, how that's going to happen. Um, it's okay, hats. It's no big deal. All right, so I didn't miss too much in there. So now we're going to get... When he played with the Los Angeles Dodgers starting in 2011, the Los Angeles... Angels, Dodgers, I said, the Los Angeles, the Angels promoted Trout on July 8th, 2011. That was one day before my birthday. To replace the injured Peter Borjos in center field, he made his major league debut that night going 0 for 3. In his next game, Trout recorded his first career major league hit, an infield single against the Seattle Mariners pitcher Michael Pineda in the bottom of the third inning. He hit his first major league home run against the Baltimore Orioles pitcher Mark Worrell on Ju- July 24th. Uh, Trout was sent back to the AA Arkansas on August 11th after hitting 163 with one home run and six runs batted in, 12 starts for the Angels. After spending time Back in AA Arkansas, Trout was recalled by the Angels on August 11th, 2011. That night, he went one for four with a home run, his first at Angel Stadium. On August 30th, Trout became the youngest Angel to hit two home runs in one game, homering off the Mariners pitcher Anthony Vasquez in the top of the second inning and again in the top of the fourth inning. In his 40-game rookie big leg stint in 2011 trout's batting average was 220 while his on-base percentage was 281 and his slugging percentage 390 for the 2011 season of the 13 votes cast for the usa minor league player of the year award trout received two votes allocated to the fan pool he was named baseball america minor league player of the year after hitting 326 414 544 with 11 home runs 38 RBIs, 82 runs scored, and 33 stolen bases in 91 games. He was again named an outfielder on Baseball America's 2011 Minor League All-Star. So as far as his American League Rookie of the Year, he was his rookie card would be 2012. Trout began the 2012 season with the Salt Lake Bees of the AAA Pacific Coast League, On April 28th, he was again brought up from the minors, this time to replace Bobby Abreu, who was batting 208 at 24 at-bats. At that time, Trout had a 403 batting average, 467 on-base percentage, and a 623 slugging percentage in 20 games with Salt Lake. Trout recorded his first career four-hit game on June 4th and his second 15 days later. In the process, he scored all four times and two of his four hits hits went for doubles. Trout, along with the Angels right fielder Tory Hunter, was named American League Co-Player of the Week from June 4th to 10th. During that stretch, Trout went 13 for 25 with a 520 batting average, 
to go along with 10 runs scored and four stolen bases. On June 27th against the Baltimore Orioles, Trout had his third career four-hit game in the same month. In the same game, he showed off his defensive skills when he robbed Orioles shortstop J.J. Hardy of a home run as he leaped up the center field wall to make a spectacular catch in the bottom of the first inning. Trout broke both the Angels franchise and American League rookie record when he crossed the plane with 14 consecutive games after scoring a run in a game on July 22nd. Trout's 26 stolen bases tied Jerry Remy for the team's rookie record for the most stolen bases by the All-Star break. Playing in his first All-Star game, Trout singled off New York Mets pitcher R.A. Dickey in the bottom of the sixth inning and drew a base on balls against the Cincinnati Reds pitcher Adrellis Chapman in the bottom of the seventh. In the month of June, Trout batted 372 with three home runs and 16 RBIs and was named American League Player of the Month and American League Rookie of the Month. Angels manager Mike Siosa explained Trout's impact by saying it's a pleasant surprise only with the fact that you see a very few guys come up and do this much. It's surprising that Mike Trout's talent is able to produce what's happening on the field. No, that's not a surprise. It's an extraordinary talent. Trout's 34 runs scored in July tied the Major League rookie record with the Cleveland Indians' first baseman Hal Trotsky in 1934. He had a 392 batting average, 10 home runs, and 23 runs batted in. In addition, Trout continued to show his speed by stealing 9 bases and scoring 32 runs in July. Trout also became the first rookie to drive in at least 55 runs and 80 runs in 81 games since Joe DiMaggio did it in 1936. Against the Chicago White Sox, on August 4th, Trout made another highlight catch, robbing second baseman Gordon Beckham of a home run in the second inning. White Sox catcher A.J. Perzitsky told reporters after the game that Trout makes those catches in the outfield look so good. On August 21st, Trout went 2-for-4 in a victory over the Boston Red Sox, raising his batting average to 344. With a 344 average, Trout set the rookie record for batting average through 100 games. Trout finished the month of August with a 284 batting average, 7 home runs, 14 nine, or 19 runs batted in, 11 stolen bases, and a 866 OPS. Trout was again named American League Rookie of the Month for August, his fourth time winning the honor and winning the award for the fourth time. Trout became the first American League rookie since Ichiro Suzuki in 2001 to win Rookie of the Month four times during a single season. Trout became the youngest player ever to hit at least 20 home runs and steal at least 40 bases in a season. Houston, the Houston Astros center fielder Cesar Cedeno had been the youngest player to accomplish the feat, doing so in 1972. He also became the youngest hitter ever to hit at least 20 home runs and steal at least 30 bases in a season. Trout scored his 100th run of the season on August 26, becoming the second Angels rookie to score at least 100 runs in a season after Devin White. Trout set a new Angels record for runs scored in a rookie season, passing White. Trout scored three runs that day, the 10th time in the 2012 season where he scored three or more runs in one game, the most since Sammy Sosa's 11 games in 2001. On September 9th, in a game against the Detroit Tigers, Trout became the first player in baseball history under the age of 22 to hit a leadoff home run in back-to-back games. On September 21st, Trout became the first rookie to score 120 or more runs since Ichiro Suzuki and the fourth rookie to accomplish that feat since 1964. On September 30th, Trout became the youngest player in Major League Baseball history to join the 30-30 club when he belted a 7th inning home run 
off of Texas Rangers pitcher Hugh Darvish, helping the Angels win the game by a score of 5-4. to four. Trout became the first player in MLB history to hit 30 home runs, steal 45 bases, and score 125 runs in one season. Trout set the Angels club record for most runs scored in a season, surpassing Vladimir Guerrero. He also set the Angels rookie record for most hits in a season with 173, passing Wally Joyner. Trout became the first rookie ever to hit 30 home runs and steal 40 bases in the same season. In addition, Trout finished second in the American League batting average with 326, third in slugging at, slugging percentage at 564, and third in on base percentage with 399, second in OPS with 963, ninth in hits with 182, and first in OPS with 171. He became the first Angels player to lead the league in stolen bases since Chone Figgins did so in 2005 with 49 stolen bases. He led the American League in power s- speed numbers at 37.2. According to the basereference.com, Trout finished with a wins above replacement value of 10.9, 2.4 better than the second place finisher, Robinson Cano of the Yankees. Trout was the first position player to have a war above 10 since Barry, Barry Bonds for the San Francisco Giants in 2004. So Trout led the Angels in batting average, run scored, hits with 182 triples, stolen bases, total bases with 315, base on balls, batting average, on base percentage, slugging percentage, and on base plus slugging despite playing in just 139 games. He was tied with pool holes for second place on the team in home runs behind Mark Trumbo and was fourth in runs batted in. On November 12, 2012, Trout won the BBWAA Jackie Robinson Rookie of the Year Award, receiving 28 of 28 first place votes, becoming the first Angels player to win the award uh, since Tim Salmon won it in 1993 and the youngest player to win the American League Rookie of the Year award. Trout became just the 18th Rookie of the Year winner with uh, the award winning unanimously. On November 13th, Trout won the Heart and Hustle Award, given to the player who demonstrates a passion for the game of baseball and best embodies the values, spirit, and traditions of the game. Trout was one of three outfielders in the American League to win the Silver Slugger for being the best offensive player at their positions. The other were then Ranger Josh Hamilton and Josh Willingham of the Minnesota Twins. He also won a Fielding Bible Award as the best fielding center fielder in in the MLB. Trout's high WAR value uh, led many to support his candidacy for American League Most Valuable Player. Trout's main competition for the award was Miguel Cabrera who became the first player since Carl Ustremski in 1967 to win the Triple Crown by leading the American League in batting average home runs and runs batted in. The race between Trout and Cabrera created controversy among baseball fans and writers. He was described by many as a clash between the New Age supermetrics and the supporters of the more traditional statistics In supporting Trout's case, Jason Stark wrote, We just understand that Trout's insane 10.5 WAR are one more clear indication that he is a better baseball player than even one of the greatest hitters of our lifetime. If you want to toss in his slash line, his 62 extra base hits, his 92.3% stolen base success, rate or any other item on his stat sheet, you'll find that no player in the history of baseball has combined with as this much excellence in so many year areas in the same season. 
Meanwhile, Scott Miller of CBS Sports wrote, Nobody combined overall statistics, badass lineup presence, and value to his team more than Triple Crown winner Miguel Cabrera. On November 15th, Cabrera won the MVP decisively, winning 22 of 28 first place votes to Trout 6. So next we go into 2013. Trout began the 2013 season as a left fielder. All right, just wanted to double check the chat real quick. I forgot to do that between uh, sections in the biography here. In order to accomplish for Peter Bor- Boros in center field, Trout started the 2013 series season slowly hitting 261 with two home runs and 16 RBIs in April. During a game on April 20th against the D- Detroit Tigers, Trout hit his first career grand slam off pitcher Rick Porcello, capping a 10-run inning for the innings, their highest scoring inning in almost 18 years. On April 30th, Boros injured his hamstring and Trout was moved back to center field. In May, Trout regained his rookie year form, batting 327 with eight home runs, 21 RBIs, and 27 runs scored. Trout stated that he had struggled early in the season because he was chasing pitches out of the strike zone and pressing too much on himself. On May 21, 2013, Trout became the youngest player to hit for the cycle in American League history with and sixth youngest in the Major League history, doing so at home against the Seattle Mariners. On May 30th, the Angels manager Mike Siosa announced that Trout would return to left field after Boros returned from the disabled list. That decision caused some controversy as some believe that Trout's successful May was a direct result of his move back to center field. Siosa, however, believed that Trout's numbers as a center fielder had to do with his batting order position and hype subsiding. On June 8th, with shortstop uh, Eric Ibar struggling at the leadoff spot, Trout began batting leadoff, marking his first time hitting the in the leadoff spot since April 14th. In his first game batting leadoff since mid-April, Trout went 3-for-5 with two doubles, a runs batted in, scored two runs, and a base on balls, and stole base, helping the Angels win the game over the Boston Red Sox in the, game of a, in the first game of a doubleheader. Trout indeed moved back to left field after Boros returned to the Angels lineup on June 10th. In his 249th career game, he scored his 200th career run, becoming the fastest player to accomplish this since Ted Williams' 225 games. At Barney McCoskey, 236 games did it in 1940. Trout represented the Angels at the 2013 Major League Baseball All-Star Game. He was the leading vote-getter among American League outfielders and the first Angels position player to start in the All-Star game since Vladimir Guerrero in 2007. In the month of July, Trout led all of baseball with an on-base percentage of 475 and OPS of 1.108. In addition, he was the only player in the American League to reach base in every game of the month and became the first Angels player to have two consecutive streaks of reaching base at least 33 games. Trout continued his strong play in August, batting 337 with six home runs and an on-base percentage of 500. As in 2012, Trout's play declined somewhat in September as he batted 281 with four home runs and four stolen bases. According to base baseball reference, Trout finished the 2013 season with a 9.2 WAR, again the highest in baseball. Notably, Trout's walk rate increased from 10.5% in 2012 to 15.4% in 2013. Trout's 110 bases on balls led the American League, and he again led the American League in power speed, 29.7, echoing the 2012 season. Miguel Cabrera won the 2013 American League MVP with 23 first-place votes, 
while Trout, Trout finished second with five. First American League Most Valuable Player Award in 2014. Rumors of a contract extension surfaced on 2014 as new outlets reported that the Angels were considering offering Trout a six-year, $150 million contract. Instead, he signed a one-year, $1 million contract. That figure is the highest ever paid for a player not eligible for salary, salary arbitration. On March 28, 2014, the Angels announced that they had signed Trout to a six-year, $144 million extension. On April 19, 2014, Trout went 0 for 4 with four consecutive strikeouts against Max Scherzer, giving him his first golden sombrero after playing 353 games. On May 15, Trout hit his first career walk-off home run in a 6-5 victory over the Tampa Bay Rays. On July 15, Trout appeared in his third All-Star game at Target Field in Minnesota. He went 2 for 3 with a double, a triple, and two RBIs and was named the most valuable player of the game, making him the second youngest All-Star game MVP behind Ken Griffey Jr. in 1992. On June 27, Trout hit the longest home run of the 2014 season, according to ESPN.com's home run tracker. The ball was hit 489 feet into the left center field at Kauffman Stadium, Kansas City, Missouri. Playing in 157 games in 2014, Trout batted 287 with 36 home runs, 39 doubles, 9 triples, and American League leading 111 RBIs, 16 stolen bases, and an MLB leading 115 runs. He also struck out a league-high 184 times. In an interview with Ken Rosenthal, Trout attributed his increased strikeouts to a golf swing. Nevertheless, Trout added he is working with staff to correct the strikeout tendency and with what may have been the only significant flaw of his all-around game. In Game 3 of the 2014 American League Division Series against Kansas City Royals, Trout hit his first career postseason home run in the first inning off James Shields. Later on in the inning, Trout was the final batter of a of the A's Angels uh, to strike out as the team lost to the Royals in a three-game sweep of the series. On November 13, 2014, the Baseball Writers Association of America announced that Trout was unanimously selected as the MVP, becoming the sixth player in MLB history to win both the Major League Season MVP and the All-Star Game MVP in the same season. Further, at the time, he was... uh, the fifth youngest MVP ever, the 17th to win unanimously, and the third Angels in franchise history following Vladimir Guerrero in 2004. So next we have 2015. On April 17, 2015, Trout became the youngest player in Major League Baseball history to hit 100 home runs and 100 stolen bases. He was 23 years old and 253 days old when he reached the milestone, passing the previous record holder, Alex Rodriguez, who had achieved it at the age of 23 years and and 309 days in 1999. Trout led off the 2015 MLB All-Star Game with a home run becoming the fourth player in All-Star Game history to do so. For the second year in a row, Trout won the All-Star Game MVP award, becoming the first player ever to win it in consecutive years. On September 22nd, Trout hit his 40th home run, becoming only the second Angels player to hit 40 home runs in a season. Trout led the American League in WAR for the fourth straight year. Trout finished the season with 41 home runs and 90 RBIs. He also led the American League players in slugging percentage and OPS with a slash line of 299, 402, 590, and 991 for his offensive 
of performance. Trout won his fourth Silver Slugger Award in as many seasons. In doing so, he became only the second player since Mike Piazza to win four straight Silver Slugger Awards to start off a career. He also won the Best American League Baseball Player ESPY Awards. On November 10th, it was announced that Trout, along with Royals outfielder Lorenzo Cain and Blue Jays third baseman Josh Donaldson, were finalists for the AL MVP. Uh, Trout became the first player since Barry Bonds to be among the top three in MVP voting in four straight seasons. On September 9th, or November 19th, Trout finished his second MVP winner, Josh Donaldson, making it the third time he finished uh, second in MVP voting in his four big league seasons. His second M- American League MVP in 2016. In June of 2016, Sporting News named Trout Baseball's best player for the season. According to Fangraphs, he accumulated more WAR through his age 24 uh, season on August 12, 2016 than any other player since 1913 with 45. Mickey Mantle was second with 41.1, followed by Mel Ott, Jimmy Fox, and Ted Williams. A close contemporary of Trout's, Alex Rodriguez, was seventh. In 159 games of 2016, Trout led the MLB with walks, 116. Runs scored, 123, and and on base percentage of 441. He also had a 315 batting average, 29 home runs, 30 stolen bases, 100 RBIs, led the American League in power, speed number of 29.5. On November 17th, Trout was announced as the 2016 American League MVP, winning the award for the second time in his career. Trout also joined Barry Bonds as the only player in MLB history to finish. Uh, top two for the MVP in five straight seasons. He was the 2016 Assurance MLB This Year in Baseball Award winner for Major League Baseball. At the conclusion of the 2016 season, Trout was 12th among active position players in total wins above replacement through just five seasons. All right, we've got a couple, three more sections here to go. Kendall Brown is in the house. How you doing there, Kendall? Nice to have Ethan's in the house. How you doing there, Ethan? Hopefully you're doing well. I know you're uh, doing distance learning with your college, um, as a lot of college students probably are doing. Um, bum, bum, bum. Uh, what else? Everybody's saying hello in the chat. All right, let me swing through these last three sections here so now we got um uh, 2017 on may 28 2017 trout left the game after spraining his left thumb two days later an mri revealed that the thumb had a torn ulnar collateral ligament and was placed on the disabled list for the first time in his major league career the injury required surgery and he was ruled out for six to eight weeks Prior to the injury, Trout was batting 337 and had led the Angels with 16 home runs. On May 31st, he underwent successful thumb surgery. He was voted to be a starting outfielder for the American League in the All-Star Game, but did not participate due to his thumb injury. Trout was activated from the disabled list on July 14th after missing 39 games. On August 7th, the date of his 26th birthday, he doubled down the third base line for his 1,000th career hit. In his next at-bat, he hit a home run for his 1,000th first hit. It marked the fourth time in six seasons that Trout had homered on his birthday. On September 6, 2017 versus the Oakland Athletics, Trout drew a walk in his 14th consecutive contest to pass Albie Pearson for the franchise record of 13 set in 1961. He hit his 200th career home run 
off of Marco Gonzalez of the Seattle Mariners on September 29, 2017. Trout became the seventh player in history to reach 200 or more home runs before the end of his age 25 season. Following Fox, Matthews, Mantle, Ott, Robinson, Rodriguez, and Pujols. Trout played in a career low 114 games due to injury, but led the team in runs with 92, home runs with 33, stolen bases with 22, walks with 94, and bat- a batting average of 306. The end of season awards for Trout included selection as center fielder on Baseball America's All MLB team. So next we have 2018. Prior to the 2018 season, Sports Illustrated rated Trout the number one player in baseball. He achieved his first career five-hit game on May 26th at Yankee Stadium, going five for five with three doubles and a home run. He also set single-game career highs in doubles, extra base hits four, and total bases 11. Previously, he had collected four hits in a game 13 times. The Angels defeated New York 11 to four. He homered twice in each of the consecutive games versus Seattle on June 11th and 12th, doing so for his first time in his career, while totaling a then MLB leading 23 home runs. In a span of eight home games through June 19th, he reached reached um, base on 29 of 37 plate appearances to bat 6, 96, 7, 7, 7, and a 261 and 1.261 with a 2.039 OPS. Batting 312 with 25 home runs and 50 RBIs, Trout was named the starting outfielder for the 2018 MLB All-Star Game. He went one for two with a home run and a walk. On August 10, 2018, Trout was placed on the disabled list due to right wrist inflammation. For the season, he batted 312, fourth in the league, 460 leading the league, uh, 628 third with 101 runs scored, ninth, 39 home runs, fourth, 79 RBIs, 24 stolen bases, ninth, 92.31 stolen bases percentage, second, and 12.1 at bats per home run, second, and 29.7 power speed number, fourth. He walked in 20.1% of his at bats. Uh, tops in the major leagues and he led the American League with 122 walks and led the majors with 25 intentional walks. He had the highest ISO isolated power of all MLB players in 2018 at 316 and on defense he led the American League outfielders with 1000 percent fielding percentage. Third in the M. American League MVP in 2019. On March 20th, 2019, Trout signed a 12-year, $426 million contract with the Angels, the richest contract in the history of North American sports. Following the April home series against the Texas Rangers, Trout was named the American League Player of the Week for the fourth time in his career. Trout went to make his eighth straight All-Star game. During the game, he he honored his late teammate and friend Tyler Skaggs by wearing his number 45. On September 9th, Trout underwent a scribolation procedure to address a a neuroma in his right foot. On September 15th, it was announced that Trout would have another surgery to remove the neuroma, ending his 2019 season. He finished the season with a career-high 45 home runs and led the American League in on-base percentage and slugging percentage. On October 24th, 2019, he won the American League Hank Aaron Award. Trout was also named the American League MVP for his third time in his career. With his latest win, Trout is the second active player in ML in the MLB to have three MVP titles. The other one is Albert Pujols, his teammate. So there we have it. That is Mike Trout's biography. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Cool. Now that you're streaming, I'll change your bell to all. 
So I'll get the alert. Oh, Kendall Brown. Who who is that, Kevin? Oh, the, oh, Kendall Brown. All right, cool. Kendall Brown did my first dream yesterday. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't good either. That's okay, Kendall. You got to start out somewhere. We all did, okay? Anyone else think that my blue package on Donald's desk looks like a piñata? <laughs> Cody and Mike are about to start hitting. <laughs> That's right. They're ready. They're ready to hit that piñata. But I think we're going to bust open the piñata and then we'll get into the uh, the the Trout and Bellinger Challenger. How's that sound? <laughs> the Cody and Mike. Okay. So let me switch things around a little bit here and get things ready. Um, let me switch that. Hopefully everybody's having a good day out there. It's just after 12. <laughs> So I'm not too awful late, although I have not even been streaming for an hour yet. So we're going to we're going to put these guys at ease here. I'm going to put them straight here. I'm going to get Kevin's package here ready to go. We're going to open that first. Unless you want me to, you want me to do it second, Kevin, or first. Either way, it doesn't matter. Anyone else think that... I, I, I like that, what Kevin put in there. Anyone else think that my blue package on Donald's desk look like looks like a piñata? We could maybe let them duke it out first, and then we can see if who, who, bust, who gets to bust open the package. Either way, it matters none to me. Any input there, Kevin? Just kind of curious before I get ready to open things up and move on to the next stage of our content. Because I, I, I'm just thinking about that in line with what you just said there, Kevin. <laughs> Any food for thought on that one or did you step away from your computer? I know you're at work, so when duty calls, I'm sure you have to just leave it running in the background. Um, just kind of curious. I'll give Kevin a couple more seconds. He might have to step out. That was three minutes ago he posted that before I started rambling. Okay, let me get a, a few stands up here so we can kind of highlight. Uh, is anyone doing a live stream later today? I think Kevin, Kevin is probably going to do a live stream. He usually does a Tuesday stream. But I haven't heard for sure. I'm here, so I don't mind which one is first. Oh, that's okay, Kevin. Okay. I'll do it like I originally planned. I was just going to open up the piñata first. Okay. So we'll go ahead and open up the piñata. And I think Demus, Demus 8. Appreciate you being here. I don't know for sure if I know you. Unless you've changed your name recently. But um, if you like, comment, and sub subscribe to my channel... I will be sure to uh, get you back. All right. It's just uh, I do visit people's channels. And for me to try and get on my list of visiting your channel, I will have to be subscribed to you. So if you can subscribe to me first, I will see it in my comments because I go through my comments a couple times a day sometimes to stay caught up in my comments. But it's nothing late break and great here. Um Yes, Kevin will be streaming later. Um, don't you usually do it like about 4 o'clock there, Kevin? Or what time are you going to be going live here? Oh, I got a little white package with blue tape on it. No, I kind of know what this is. So we'll just kind of uh, go with that for now. I do like this. These are nice. Four ni three nice pieces of blue tape. I can use these for packages, that's for sure. So let me just set the reusable blue tape off to the side and I know Kevin mentions it I mention it I know a few people don't do it but um, this blue tape works wonders especially if somebody sends you team bags or anything like that it does not mark up the team bags that way you can reuse your team bags I mean I reuse the team bags anyway but when there's less markings on a team bag it looks much more presentable um, when it is received uh, and then when you do peel off the, uh, see, even if some of that gets stuck, it'll still 
be able to be reused on another package. But scotch tape, it's kind of hard to reuse scotch tape. So again, this is uh, pretty much, I like, I like the way you did that, Kevin. Uh, I've wrapped similar packages similar to this before, but I know um, we kind of helped each other out with each other out with a package here recently, and uh, whoop, almost. So I I'm, have a good idea what I've got here, and I, I'm trying to get some of the some of the cards to complete some of my 2019 and 2020 sets. So I got a Rice Hoskins here with the Philadelphia Phillies, and I got a Kyle Schwarberger from my from the 2020 tops. I'm trying to complete all my subsets from these different uh, series, so that's what I'm doing here. Anyone doing a flash auction this week? Um, Kevin does his sales on Sundays. I might do a sale this. Saturday, but I do have something else scheduled. It just depends on how the day goes and what as the week progresses. But I'll just go through these quickly because I think most of these are all, um, yeah, looks like my 1984s. And then we got some decades bests here, some more 85s, Rice Hoskins. But yeah, so most of you guys have seen a lot of these things, but these are just ones that I'm trying to fill in gaps. Like for my turkey cards, I'm trying to complete the sets for 2020. So we got Rendon here with Washington, Crawford with San Francisco, uh, Cole with Houston, uh, Olsen with Oakland. And once I complete my sets, then I'll be having sales for people that are other people that may be trying to complete their sets. Uh, Kane with Milwaukee. Uh, Cody Bellinger, there we go, Cody Bellinger with uh, Los Angeles, we're going to be getting into some, uh, trying to find some more of his cards here soon, uh, Miguel Cabrera with Detroit, um, let's see, Anderson, which one is that, uh, Tim Anderson with the Chicago White Sox, uh, Markakis, that's Nick Markakis with Atlanta, we got uh, Cattell Marte with the Arizona Diamondbacks. I said you should, he, and uh, Kevin had an extra one of these guys so I could put that in for my uh, 2009, uh, 2020 turkey cards. So that is cool. I got those. And here's some 84 uh, cards. Of course, any extra Mariners that he had, I, I asked for them. But uh, Mitch Hanniger for the 1984 tops. Uh, Justice Sheff Sheffield rookie card never passed one of his rookie cards up. Ponce de Leon with the Cardinals. And then we did end up with a Mike Trout Chrome card. That was cool. A Walker Bueller. Uh, Manny Machado. Uh, John Duplantier rookie card. That is cool. I got one of those now. Um, Nick Mar Margivisic with the Padres rookie card. Chris Paddock, rookie card. Uh, uh, Garrett Cole. And these are all 84s that I'm needing for my series to finish those sets out. Not to finish them, but to get it where I only need a few more cards. Kerry Wood with the Cubs. All right. So I'll go ahead and put these right over here for now. And then for some more 2020 product, I'll set the rest up here. I'll put these 285s here, the Schwarberger and the Rice Hoskins in front here on this stand in front of the turkey cards and go through these last few cards here and then we'll finish up with Kevin's package here um, and do it will be split uh, okay they're talking about something they want to try on stream yards okay so decades best batters uh, Monty Irvin All right, George Brett and then St. Louis Cardinals team card. And then we've got some more uh, 1985 cards here. Um, of course, the Zach Collins rookie card for the White Sox. Uh, Seattle Mariners Ichiro, Ichiro, Ichiro. Alex Bregman with the Houston Astros. Okay. So we'll just kind of set those there for now. 
Then I think these are just some Rice Hoskins inserts. The uh, 4 and 10, uh, Pop in the Clutch, 2 and Done, and Daring Denial. Okay? So these are just cards that I'm looking for for my PC that uh, me and Kevin uh, co co collaborated together. And I had some that he needed that were doubles that I had. And he had some that... I needed that were doubles that he had so that's pretty much what this whole package was here just in case you're wondering uh, what this was so it's not like anything late great and breaking it's just cards that I didn't have and kind of did it collab together as a as friends on YouTube and we, it was pretty much an even trade pretty close I think within a card or something of uh me sending cards his way and him sending cards my way so it was kind of like an an even trade so that's what that's kind of like trading back in the olden days but you're just not next to to you so i guess you could call it social distancing through youtube and collabing together to uh find cards that you need for your collection and so appreciate that kevin um Oh no, D Moose 8 is oh cool. I'm quarantined and bored. Oh my word. Alright, so Donald, do you have the 84 Griffin Canning and Nelson Cruz or the 85? Um, I'd have to look. I'm not I don't have a chance to look for it right now, but thanks for asking, Kendall. Um, I believe I I might have some of those, but I don't know which ones for sure off the top of my head. I keep them all in numerical order, so if you want to send me an email, I can check and see if I have it in my collection. But I'm going to set these off to the side here real quick. And then we'll get ready to do our, our final part of this dream. Okay, we'll get the, to the final part of this screen here. Or this stream, not screen. And uh, I'm going to put just an extra stand here. That way we have four. And you'll see kind of how I'm going to do this when we go through these. Okay. So we're going to have the challenge here. Now, who do you want to come up to bat first? Do we want to do we want to bust open the trout or the or the Bellinger? Mike or Cody? Mike or Cody? I want to see some votes. How many people we got in the stream? Oh, there's only four people here. Well, let's get a couple votes and we'll see which one gets the most votes first. Which tin should we open first to see who we can pull out of here? <laughs> All right. Again, I'm opening this product just to fill gaps in my 2020 Top Series 1. And uh, down the road here, when the, the newness of 2020 Bellinger. Okay, one vote for Bellinger so far, none for Trout. So Cody's got one belt. Uh, Frank, please contact that last. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Here, I'll get it. I'll get it. We can't have none of that in here. Sorry there. Um, Frank, we, we need to try and keep that term out of the chat or else they won't let me upload my video. They won't allow me to. So that's the only reason I took that off there, uh, Frank. All right. Um, is we can't say none of that in any of our YouTube channel or they will flag it. Uh, nothing against you personally there, Frank. I just deleted that one message. Uh, Kevin removed YouTube rule. Yeah, no no, no problem, okay? Um, I, I understand, but uh, yeah, they're on automation mode. They don't have as many people reviewing. Um, so it's all computerized. So if they see certain words in your streams, they will take your, they will not let your video upload and they will not allow it to be on YouTube per their, uh, community guidelines. And they've added that feature in there. Um, Facebook is doing something similar, but I see quite a few posts going up, but it just depends on if it's medically related information that they're putting up in the social media that are acceptable but that's okay that's okay you came in late and thanks kevin for keeping an eye on that appreciate that i was gonna say donald's rule he's turned into a tyrant laugh out loud no no it's a youtube thing i guess yes okay so let's see i had uh let me go back sorry we had a uh uh mike trout trout mike trout one cody bellinger i seen the cody bellinger earlier 
Um, bum, bum, bum. It looks like we got three votes for trout. So I guess we're going to open up trout first. Okay. Because how many we got? We got seven people in here. Yeah, can I get maybe one more vote leaning toward trout? Or I got five votes in so far. Uh, back to the cards, yes. I'll vote for Bellinger. I need one more tie-breaking vote from somebody that has not voted yet. One more tiebreaker here, because I think I probably count as somebody that's in the chat. So I'll, I'll make a vote too, just to make a tie. So I need, I need a tiebreaker from somebody that did not vote yet. Can we get that? One more tiebreaker? Or we'll just have to throw in the towel. <laughs> no. Or I'll just go with who had the most votes first, which was Mike Trout. Mike. Okay, we're going to go with Mike Trout. We're going to open up Mike Trout first, and that's who we will go with, okay? So again, our goal in these challenges when I open these, <laughs> my dog says Trout. <laughs> Why, does he like catching fish? <laughs> um, so uh, we want to see in Mike Trout's box if we can pull a Mike Trout out, and if we do, he'll he'll have a stronger lead but if cody bellinger's box has a cody bellinger in it of course if we pull two trouts out then he'd be leading but we'll just see how it goes as we go through here okay so um without further ado we're going to start with the mike trout first and down the road throughout the year i am going to do something special with my tins don't so don't everybody kind of Run and ask, well, what are you doing with your tins now? I'm doing something special with them. Don't worry. Oh, man. I can't. Oh, there it goes. Uh, almost. Oh, there we go. Now where'd you fly off to? Ah! <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just been kind of silly here. Oh, it's right there. Here, I thought it fell off somewhere. Um, I just wanted to take that security tag off the back. That's all I was trying to do. All right, so let's see there, Mike. Let's get Mike Trout opened up here. Pull the pack of cards out. Oh, we got an Alex Verdugo on the top here. So we do have Alex Verdugo on the top. Let's put Mike Trout in the back here. Okay. And Cody Bellinger, you will be up to bat after Mike Trout is done here, okay? Hopefully you guys are having a good Tuesday. Hopefully you're having a good Tuesday. My Tuesday morning when I when my life left, left for work, I left for the on a shopping trip. I don't like to shop, but my wife wanted me to see if I could find some items along with my daughter. So they gave me a list, and I found what I could. Out of eight items, I found all but two. And believe it or not, Costco had some toilet paper and paper towels. But they were limiting what people could buy. So I'm going to go here and say... Sorry, I'm going to leave the, the nicer insert cards for the end to see what we can pull in the long run. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and go through these cards, and we'll see who we pull here. Let me get uh, about the first half of the stack here. Oops. First half of the stack. Slide these up just a little bit more here. So you can see I got the other one right there. Uh, oh, crashing, crashing the set. You'll find that on the bottom of your shoe later. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and go through these ones. Uh, New York Mets team card. New York Mets. Um, Shane Green. Shane Green with the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Max Stassi with the Angels. Adrian Morhone, Morhone with the San Diego Padres. Um, Daniel Polka with the Chicago White Sox. Ian Kinsler with the San Diego Padres. Matt Barnes with the Boston Red Sox. Jake Arrieta with the Philadelphia Phillies. Christian Vasquez with the Boston Red Sox. 
Blake Trennan. I like how he's looking up there. He's looking up, pointing up and saying, okay, help me out. <laughs> um, Nick Markakis with the Atlanta Braves. Um, Nolan Arenado with the Colorado Rockies. Aaron Savelle with the Cleveland Indians rookie card. Oh, no, I don't think I've missed any rookies yet, have I? Justin Verlander with the Houston Astros. There's a Aristides Aquino card for the Cincinnati Reds. That's one of the, the, the hot rookies everybody's looking for. Luis Garcia with the Angels. Future stars, Austin Riley with the Braves. Um, Trevor Richards with the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, Kenta Maeda with the Dodgers. Mike Yastrzemski, future star. Here we go, Mike Soroka, Gold Cup card. Gold Cup card there with the Atlanta, uh, Atlanta Braves. Uh, Adam Frazier with the Pirates. Shout out to Eric and John Jabs. Uh, Tommy Edmond, future stars card. Uh, Josh Figley. Blake Parker, Shane Green with the Braves, Jose Martinez with the Cardinals, uh, Randall Grichuk with the Toronto Blue Jays, um, there we go, Carson Kelly with the Arizona Diamondbacks, shout out to Kevin's card collecting, Willie Adamas, Willie Adamas with the Tampa Bay Rays, Chicago Cubs team card, uh, Tim and Yolimar with the with the Chicago White Sox, celebrate a win. Uh, Steven Strasburg, World Series highlight card. Orlando Arcia with the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Wade Davis with the Colorado Rockies. Joey Votto with the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Steven Matz with the New York Mets. All right, first half of the pack is done. Still no trout, no trout. Still no trout. All right. Let's go to the last half of the pack. Okay. We got Alex Verdugo with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, Nick Senzel with Future Star with the Reds. Um, Nico Goodrum with the Detroit Tigers. Tony Gonsolin with the Dodgers. Rookie card. All right. We've got uh, Jason Kipnis with the Cleveland Indians. There we go, the Boba Shat rookie card, Boba Shat. All right, uh, Sonny Gray with the Cincinnati Reds. Sonny Gray. There we go, Fernando Tatis Jr. with the San Diego Padres, Gold Cup card. All right, we got Andres Munoz with the San Diego Padres, rookie card. Master and apprentice, apprentice, that's Cruz and Carver. Checking out the scouting report there. All right. Max Scherzer with the Washington Nationals. Lord Guriel Jr. with the Blue Jays. Uh, Danny Holson with the Cubs. Rookie card. Uh, Chance Sisko with the uh, Baltimore Royals. Nick Solak with the Texas Rangers. All right, rookie card. Bo Bo Boomer Bichette. <laughs> um, Jay Bruce with the Philadelphia Phillies. All right, oh, wrong pile. Uh, Robel Garcia, rookie card. Uh, Kurt Suzuki with the Nationals. Los Angeles Dodgers team card. Christian Yelich with the Brewers. Travis Dimitri, rookie card. Johnny Cuto with the Giants. Um, Cleveland Indians, team card. Oakland A's, team card. Uh, Robbie Grossman with the Oakland Athletics. Uh, Jalen Davis with the San Francisco Giants. Here we go. Oh, that's a rookie card. Sorry about that. Switch that over to my rookie stack and future stars and highlight cards. 
All right, there we go. Our variation card, Caleb Smith with the Miami Marlins. There we go. We got a Mookie Betts Tops Choice card. Because that's from the 1987 Tops Baseball. So that's a Tops Choice. Here we go, a 1985 Rod Carew. Rod Carew. All right, put that one right there for now. And then we've got some turkey cards here. We got Biggio, Jacob DeGrom, the Yankees. I think that's in that Chris Archer. Chris Archer with Pittsburgh. Shout out to Eric and John Jabs. Albert Pujols with the California Angels. Still no trout. Where's the trout? I don't think we're going to, we might not find a trout in here. Anderson. What do we got? Anderson. Tim Anderson here. Turkey card. Then we got the Rice Hotskins. We got uh, Ribby King. Ribby King. Got the Ribby King here. Then we got the Top Newcomer. Top Newcomer. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that is a cool looking card for Aaron Judge. Decades Best Award winner Aaron Judge. I can't remember if I've got this one or not. Of course, I got a couple packages coming in that I might get one, but that is cool. That is a nice chrome card there. That's the uh, regular chrome card that now, and then we've got the other chrome card here for a turkey. Turkey chrome is uh, Sean. Murphy with the Oakland A's rookie card. Top chrome turkey card. So no Mike Trout. So if we don't pull a Cody Bellinger, we'll have to try and decide, okay, who's got the best here? Uh, that's pretty cool. So far, outside of the two rookies here, the uh, Aquino and the Bobichette rookie card, um, the Murphy chrome is pretty cool. The Murphy Chrome card, rookie card, is pretty cool. And of course, the Aaron Judge uh, Decades Best card is pretty cool. Let me throw these in penny sleeves for now. I'll top load some of these that I'm done top loading on. And then, of course, we've got the variation card here, the base variation, uh, what they call the Rainboy, blah, 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 Rainbow Foil card is here and then we do get the the two so two of the better rookies here we got the Aquino and the Bobachette and the Bobachette so these will be top loaded the Aquino and the Bobachette for uh, for set sake of time I'm not gonna worry about that we got one foil all right we've got the one uh, and the two chromes here so those I would deem the five good hits out of this one the very the base variation that I'm work trying to work on that set that's gonna be a harder set to finish and then the two chrome cards uh, the decades best and the turkey and then the two rookies so I would kind of label those right there as the five bigger hits of course we did get a bunch more turkey cards Two, the two Rice Hoskins cards, the Rod Carew, uh, 1985 throwback, and the 1987 uh, Tops Choice card. So we will set these aside real quick here. And, all right, just so you do know what's going on here, I'm going to set those aside here for the trout. Okay, I'm going to put one more up here as we pull through the second one. I will set these aside and check for any short prints. I don't didn't notice any that jumped out at me right away. But these are the rookie card stack and future stars and stuff like that. And these are the ba base, pretty much base cards. But I do double check these to make sure there are no short short, short prints. Uh, 2020 tins, please, and some toilet paper. <laughs> Kevin. Uh, faith, family, and sports. We be back. Gotta run to Walmart. Anyone need anything? <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's why Kevin responded there. I'll see what I can find, Kevin. 
<laughs> All right, now on to Cody Bellinger's 10. Let's get ready for Cody Bellinger here and see if we can find, if we find a Cody Bellinger in this 10, he will win. Hands down, but we'll see. And then after this, we'll go ahead and finish up for today's stream, guys. I'll have that'll give me just over about my hour and a half that I like to try and put up in the stream. Two hours if we're doing something awesome and stuff, but we will see. Oh, I never even knew they had the MLB 150s, 150 years on their sleeve. Wonder if they're gonna end up doing like a a patch for that or something. I'm surprised they didn't have something like well, they did have the 150 years of baseball. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on, you can do it. You, you're loose. There we go. Oh. Got the security tag off the back. Oh, I only wanted to remember to take it off now so I don't have to worry about it later. I, I can get the sticky residue off of there. So let's see what we can find in Cody Bellinger. See if we can find a Cody Bellinger in here, huh? Let's see if we can find a Cody Bellinger in the box. All right. So this will finish off our 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 tin tin challenge here. I'll call it a tin challenge. I don't see any thick cards in there, but you usually don't. But I, I imagine they probably do get relics every once in a while in these. All right, Steven Strasburg on the back. Oh, come on, Blomdahl. All right, so I'm going to do like this. Straighten these out, and we will see what we pull out of this. Let's root... Who's rooting for a Cody Bellinger? I'll see what I can find. All right. So here we go. Here we go. All right. So we got David Dahl with the Colorado Rockies. There we go. Wow, I don't even think we pulled a Seattle Mariner out of that first 10. Here we go. Austin Nola, rookie card for the Seattle Mariners. That's pretty. I'm going to just ring the bell just because that's my first Seattle Mariner. The first box didn't have any Seattle Mariners that I remember. One Seattle Mariner out of these 10 so far. It's okay. Actually, you go on Cody Bellinger's side for a plus. That's a plus vote for me on that box. <laughs> All right, so uh, Jesse Winkler with the Cincinnati Reds. Jesse Winkler. Uh, Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo. Too, too bad we didn't do the Pete Alonzo 10. All right, with the New York Mets Gold Cup card. All right. Then we got uh, Kyle Schwarberger with the Chicago Cubs. All right. Uh, Hector Neris with the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Andrew Benatendi with the Red Sox. Uh, Cesar Hernandez with the Philadelphia Phillies. Anthony Santander with the Orioles. Mike Fears with the Athletics. Miguel Cabrera with the Tigers. Uh, Tyler Alexander with the Tigers. Uh, Dale Murphy with the Colorado Rockies. Uh, Bobby Bradley with the uh, Indians. Um, Andrew Heaney with the Angels. A.J. Puck with the Oakland Athletics. Rookie card. Sandy Alcantara with the Marlins. Francisco Lindor with the Indians. Jose Barrios with the Twins. Uh, Jacoby Jones with the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Trey Turner with the Washington Nationals. Jose Aquino with the Sh with the Cubbies. James Paxton with the New York Yankees. Dylan Cease with the White Sox. There we go. Omar Narvaez. Omar Narvaez with the Seattle Mariners. That gives me two Seattle Mariners in this box. None in the other one. Reese McGuire with the Toronto Blue Jays. Matt Thias with the 
Angels rookie card. Daniel Vogelback. We got three Seattle Mariners in this box so far. We're on a big roll. All right. Now we got Jackie Bradley Jr. with the Boston Red Sox. Ian Kennedy with the Royals. Max Kepler with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Tommy Pham with the Tampa Bay Rays. Anthony Rendon with the Nationals League Leader. Andrew Chafin with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, Jorge Soler with the Kansas City Royals. Uh, not, uh, league Leader. Um, Anthony Rendon with the Philadelphia, oh no, with the Washington Nationals, I'm sorry, World Series highlight card, uh, Steven Strasburg, league leader card, and that finishes off the first half there, so three Seattle Mariners already, I'm trying to even know for sure, I can't remember how many Seattle Mariners are in Series 1, it's not that many, probably about seven or eight, if that, um, Michael Brissot, rookie card for the Tampa Bay Rays, um, Tyler White with the Dodgers. Dustin May. Dustin May, rookie card for the Dodgers. Hunter Dozier with the Kansas City Royals. Nico Horner with the Cubs. Rookie card. Justin Turner with the Dodgers. Uh, Oscar Mercado with the uh, Cleveland Indians. Future star card. Garrett Cooper with the Miami Marlins. Brad Hand with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Jeff Samardiz Samardiza with the Giants. Uh, Mar Mauricio with the Giants, rookie card. Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper still, get, still didn't get that Cody Bellinger yet. What's up with that? Second minor leaguer. Tested positive. Uh-oh. Now it's starting to go through them, huh? Okay, MLB is giving lots of money to park employees. Well, that's good. At least they're helping their park employees out. That's nice. Um, cool. So Bryce Harper with the Phillies. Mike Chaw Givens with the Orioles. Uh, Starlin Castro with the Marlins. Uh, Jordan Yamamoto with the Miami Marlins rookie card. Um, Miles Mikolas with the St. Louis Cardinals. There we go. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Gold Cup card. That's a pretty good hit there. Um, Tyler Bet Beatty, Betty with the Giants. Um, some more sideways cards here. We've got Ian Desmond with the Colorado Rockies. Luis Castillo with the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Yomer Sanchez with the White Sox. Zach Collins with the White Sox. Rookie card. Matt Carpenter with the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, Craig Kimbrell with the Chicago Cubs. Milwaukee Brewers team card. Um, Christian and Nolan. Game's best talk shop. National League All-Stars. Like Father, Like Son. Uh, Biggio and Bichette. There we go. Here's our subset cards coming up now. They always got them sandwiched in the middle of the pack. So the 1960s Decades Best San Francisco Giants. All right, there we go. We got a Wade Boggs with the Boston Red Sox. And then we've got uh, our turkey cards here now. Uh, Ozzy Albies. With the Braves, Shohei Otani with the Angels, Pete Alonzo with the New York Mets, uh, Devers, who's Devers again? Raphael Devers with the Red Sox, uh, Anthony and Anthony Rendon, yep, Anthony Rendon with the Washington Nationals. No Cody Bellinger. Wow, they're going to both strike out. Then we'll have to see who had the better subset cards. All right. Hoskins. Amazing Rice Hoskins. And 14 for 14. Oh, that's a cool looking card. I don't know for sure if I got that one. 
1960s decades best New York Mets. That is pretty cool. Oh, there we go. And then we got the the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. with the Toronto Blue Jays Chrome card. All right, there we have it. So that gives us our cards for the second round. Didn't get none of the we didn't get the bigger rookies out of there. Uh we did get a Vladimir Guerrero Gold Cup card. We got the Wade Boggs. All right. We got a San Francisco Giants team card. We got the Chrome card for the New York Mets. Oops. Chrome card for the New York Mets. Along with two Rice Hoskins cards. The 14 for 14 and the Amazing Rice. And the Chrome cards. So I don't know. Um, we got the Guerrero Jr. Chrome card. And then we got the Rendon, Devers, Alonzo, Otani, and Albies. All right. So that pretty much gives us our hits here for those few cards. So I don't know. Let me see. Let me go back through here and recap. I think overall card-wise... We've got these. We got the variation. We didn't get a variation out of that one. But we did get a Topps Chrome. Um, Aaron Judge. Out of the Trout Box. And we did get some more uh, Rice Hoskins. We got the Rod Carew Hall of Famer. Uh, Mookie Betts. So yes. I think, me personally, me personally, for me, I would have to vote for the Trout Box. Any other votes out there? Yeah, the Trout 10-1. That's, that's the, before I even looked up at the chat, that's what I I saw Kevin chose. The Trout 10-1. I think so, too. Anyone else have any votes in there? Of course, other people might be par partial to others in the in the chat. But, yeah... I mean, uh, as far as the sub, the 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 subset cards here, future stars and stuff like that, I believe the tile, this pile is slightly taller there. On the on the second ten, as far as the future stars and rookie cards, but we did pull two of the bigger rookies here. Along with that, so the only the only reason that would lean me toward this way was there were no seattle mariners here but there were three in this box but overall i would have to go with mike trout if you go sports tv you couldn't find a mike trout 10 oh my word you couldn't find a mike trout 10 i think i might have i can't remember if i have more than one mike trout 10 or not Uh, anybody else uh, niche, niching this Tyler guy spamming everyone's chat? Not stream, not on streams. Tyler guy. I don't know for sure who you're talking about there, um, Kendall. Uh, Kendall, he's been leaving comments on my videos. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thing is, on what what you you don't want to pick on him because the more you pick on him, the more he'll do those types of things. But yeah, people will be people, and people will do what they do. We just pretty much have to live with it. So other than that, yeah, I think so too. I have like seven different tins, but no other seven different. There's only six different tins. There's not seven different tins. There's only six. How did you get a seventh? You have seven different tens, but no trouts. There's only six. Uh, so the six players that are available on the tens are Cody Bellinger for the Dodgers, uh, Mookie Betts for the Red Sox, Pete Alonzo for the Mets, Vladimir Guerrero for the Blue Jays, Aaron Judge for the Yankees, and Mike Trout for the Angels. Those are the only... 
only six tins that are out there. Tyler Winter. I don't know a Tyler Winter, but I could be wrong. I mean, they are positive, but I don't think he is a normal person. Kendall Brown. Okay. Okay, Fugo, you're missing Trout. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was able to get a complete set, and then I got ended up going to my Walmart, and they did have some finally, so I bought the tins they had. And I think I bought like six or seven. But, yeah, those are the six. That's the ones I just listed off. Bellinger, uh, Betts, Alonzo, Gutierrez, Judge, and Trout are the six different players that are on the six different tins. Okay, so you, you... Okay. I think he's trying to draw people to his channel. Yeah, people just want... He's just trying to get people to show up, to show up into his feed and stuff. But that's, you know, that's fine. That happens. So, yeah. So, other than that, for me, that's pretty much the recap of what I found there. So I'm going to set these cards here. I'll turn around and say my goodbyes before I do sign off. And put all these cards over here. The rookie. So pretty much my separation. This is my Seattle Mariners. These are my rookies. My All-Star Game cards. My World Series cards. My League Leaders cards. That's one separation. I do put all my Seattle Mariners together. And these are pretty much base cards. I'll go through here and double check to see if I have any short prints before I put them into my separation box and then all these subsets I do separate also so I appreciate everybody that's here Ethan's Elvis covers and more have a good one let me turn the camera around real quick before everybody takes off so I'm going to just kind of set this up here on my break table and we will see you guys around the channels okay so this is Dom Blomdahl Hall of Fames, and yeah, I'm wearing my green. I'm wearing my green for St. Patrick's Day. Yep, St. Patrick's Day. Not too, not so much having fun and going around and pinching everybody that's wearing green, but we are fun here. I'll, uh, I might do a stream after you are done. Oh, well, thanks, there, Kendall. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to go down and take lunch break here since it is almost one o'clock on my end in the west coast here so i am going to get ready to wrap things up here uh i was on the phone to several friends oh no problem there sally you can always watch the replay we did have fun we did have a fun time in the stream but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up for today this is don blomdahl hall of fame veteran sports cards and collectibles having been live to you from arlington washington I'm just going to get ready to uh, close up shop here for today. I'm trying to see if I can get this here out of the way while I straighten things back up before I turn the camera back around to my break table. Uh, oh boy. Okay, there we go. Almost, just in case you're wondering, I'm going to move that over here. So I can have my four chrome cards right on top as I turn the camera around. All right. So other than that, everybody, I'm going to have a great day. Hopefully you will too. Take care of yourself. Use social distancing, which we have social distancing here. Because we, we can be together with each other, but be in different areas of the country or different areas of the world. And we are social distancing. So that's the way I kind of look at it. My family here, we are social distancing. So there we go. For those that did miss it earlier on, we did do a uh, top 10 challenge. We did not pull a trout. We did not pull a Cody Bellinger out of their respective tins. But we did get an Aaron Judge, a decade's best chrome card. We got a uh, Murphy and a Guerrero Jr. 
chrome card for the turkeys and the other turkeys are behind there i won't highlight them all and then of course we got the decades best new york mets uh team card for our fourth tops chrome remember in the tins you get two tops chromes and you get various different inserts that are usually in the middle of the pack and then you get your rookies future stars american league national league all-star game your world series highlights cards in the first 10 i did not choose any but i got three seattle mariners out of the second 10 all right and then these are just the the common cards here so you guys have a great and wonderful day uh thanks everybody for coming in uh kevin thanks for showing up i appreciate you being here he was first in the stream today and uh as we get pat we're past the halfway mark in uh this month so so far today oh by the way if you are still here this is my giveaway for this month in case you are wondering i've got three rookie cards here i got Kevin biggio uh mike yastrzemski and pete alonzo are the three uh giveaway cards at the end of the month i'm not telling anybody you have to figure things out on how you get entered into the contest and if you want to go through to my last two videos for the last day in uh, January, the last stream day I do in February, and then this will be the last day of this month that we will run the contest and see who wins. All right, so these are the three cards that will be given away at the end of this month if I have any entrance. We are past the halfway mark in this uh, month and I do not have any entrance yet this month but I'm sure someone will no doubt enter the contest all right and probably most likely if we do not have any regular entrance I'll probably just give each of my patreon members an entrance an entrant an entrance into the contest at the end of the month if there are no other people that are in so I'm going to go ahead and close close up shop now. You can kind of see me in the background here. I'm going to give my little wave. You can see it there on the New York Mets uh, team card there and the chrome cards there. You can see my reflection. I am waving. So you guys have a great and wonderful day. We will see you guys tomorrow morning with our Topps baseball card set doing the next one in the series. I believe it's 1982 if I remember correctly. If not, you'll see it when I post the the, when I schedule it later today. Have a great and wonderful day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye now. And guys and gals, bye now. Bye, y'all. Three cards, if you're still here, I mentioned in the chat that I won't be telling people how to get into the contest, but you should be able to figure it out if you're a regular viewer on my channel.